here! Onward, men! Sir, if you keep that up with this poor footing... <laughs> See? I told you so. <laughs> that was nothing. Uh, leave it to your humble servant, Zephic. I'll be sure to get you to the Misty Valley safely. Your heart is restless. I understand. I understand, Mr. Zepic. You volunteered for this life-threatening duty out of concern for your child. You are a paragon of parenthood and a devout follower as well. Uh, well, I wouldn't go that far. All hands dismount. We can't go any farther by horse. All hands will proceed to the Misty Valley on foot while the squires and horses remain here. Will you be able to fare well enough, Mr. Zepic? <laughs> no problem at all, see? Just leave it to me. <laughs> what in? What is it? What indeed? Mm. Yeah. This is crazy. Mm. Once more, a mountain of corpses. But all this... All the bodies look as if they were blown apart by cannon fire. If this indeed was the work of the Black Swordsman, he must be leading some group of soldiers. Hmm. 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 I don't think so. What? I think he probably did this on his own. At a glance, these bodies appear to be the work of a cannon or something, but these are unmistakably edged weapon rules. I think it must have been a rather massive blade swung with incredible speed. As all the corpses are in the same state, I assume they were all attacked by the same weapon. Additionally, I think it is unnatural to propose there is more than one person who could handle such a weapon. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. It sure ain't no axe. He swung around this huge sword that was longer than he was. He's a terror. Hmm. If that is indeed the truth, then the Black Swordsman is no doubt the Hawk of Dark... Azar! Aye. You mustn't utter that name lightly. It would be profane. Yes. I spoke rashly. Now let's depart. The commander is fairly worked up. <sighs> this mountain of corpses and those village children. If this really is all his doing alone. Black swordsman, no. Hawk of darkness. I swear I will catch you personally. I swear it on my faith. For a human, but 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 ah, see, there are still many more of them. You won't win if they all attack at once. This is punishment for trashing the emergence grounds. Everybody, chew him slowly and go. Bye-bye, Mr. Tough Stuff. You were kind of fun. <laughs> What's he thinking? The elves? The cocoons 
insides put out the fire. You, are you really human? What the hell are you? The forest ghost. Those were the words that went through my mind when I first saw him, lit by the lightning flash. But he, the man in front of me right now, is nothing so gentle as that. You'll pay. You're going to pay. I can't fly because of these cocoon trees, and my dust will get blown off by the flames. That was his intent. Got her. I missed again. Rosie, there's no use, Jill. What the? It's all gone. Everything's burned up. My elves, my land. Before long, all of it will burn in these flames. It can't be stopped now. Rosine? Is that... Rosine? But whatever. I don't need them. Not anymore. I have wings. I can fly anywhere. To someplace new, I'll make a new paradise. So I don't need anything anymore. Just as long as I have Jill. However, you alone have to pay. <laughs> what the? off target from losing an antenna, but next time, Sting. You okay, Jill? Yeah. You? Rosine? Uh-oh. Uh that stoked the flames. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, she's aiming right for my head at that speed. Ah. Uh. Ah! What is it? An explosive blast trailing her, and the thunderous sound afterwards. <laughs> There's no use trying to strike me down, or flee. There's no one in the world faster than the Queen of Elves. She just streaks by, and nearly obliterates me. I can't hear after those booms either. 
This ain't good. Even if I try to attack, my timing's way off. Oh, wow. That's weird. All right. I'll aim a little slower. Stop. How to stop it? Head skewer. Huh? It slowed down. Sting! 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 Are you stupid? Even if you do that, I'll skewer your arms and head. I can see it. your bloody face for a while. Hold mm. me close now. I need pie. Three. <laughs> it's a date in the starry sky. <laughs> Sleep so soon. Oh, shame. As we have such a pretty view of the moon. Um, upon a close look, you really are quite handsome. I kind of see why Jill might like you. But it's still too soon for Jill. She's still a child. You can't have her. Jill is mine, and mine alone. Now, this is the end. I'm going to fly at full speed and tear you to shreds. Bye-bye. This time I really mean it. blown three chances to offer. Is her appearance distracting to me? Or is it Jill's story? Am I really such a softy? Look at me, at this mess. I went too easy on her, and now I can hardly hold my sword. Black it out. One more time. I'll take my urge to kill, and black everything else out. But how do I dodge that whip thing and get close to her in this shape? Even if I do get close, my gunpowder's bottomed out. <coughs> that fool. She's still wandering around here. Uh-oh. That stuck the flames. Never mind, Puck. Just get away. I couldn't be so inhuman. E. Oh, but then I'm an elf, and I'm about to be chestnuts in an open fire. Y y yeah, that's it. I'll burst one of those over my head, just like guts. Everything's all right. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> nice idea. No, never. Uh, you got a better idea, stupid girl. <laughs> we want blood. That's right. I am stupid. Jill. I knew it was true. See, didn't you even say so? 
Now I regret everything. I need this too. Enough. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away and leave. Stupid me. Jill, if you sit there like that, you're just gonna die. You didn't come this far to die, did ya? Chester. Huh? You all right, Jill? Rosine! Ah! Ah, no! Don't worry. Trust me. I'll carry you somewhere safe. Wait here until I take care of him. Then the two of us will go, where no one can stop us. Somewhere far, far away. Rosine! and watch the fire engulf her, hiding himself behind a curtain of flame. <gasps> Jill! <gasps> Now's our chance to escape! <gasps> human you scum snacked on playing your games. You wouldn't remember. A human... A human must never be allowed to cause pain for an elf. <laughs> I'm here. The Misty Valley. This is it. The land of the elves, all mine! What? Humans aren't meant to take the lives of elves. I won't have it. You can just go away forever. <laughs> They weren't there. No, they weren't there. I waited for days and days. I waited forever. I'd known it. I hadn't really believed in them, in silly elves. Rosine! Rosine? Huh? Rosine? Mom? Thank God you're safe. Why are you here? Oh, girl. Oh, girl, you had me so worried. Uh. 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 Dear, stop! Of all the stupid things to do! Uh. Do you have any idea how much trouble you've caused everyone in the village? Don't you dare humiliate me ever again! What? Have you got something to say? Get your ass up! We're going back to the village! Uh, dear, stop it! Do you have any idea how long looking for you has delayed the harvest? Uh, Were there elves? Were there any elves here? Dear, stop! Worthless superstitions! You're too old to believe in that crap! 
Or was this for me? Did you do this because I'm not your real father? <sighs> Dear, please stop it. She's just a wee girl. Shut up. Oh. This is wrong. This kind of thing can't happen here in the valley. I don't... I don't need all this. Go away. Everything. Just go away. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Forgive me, father. Mother. Look! Ah! Ah! Rosine! It's too late. J- Ill. They weren't there. There weren't really any elves. I waited, alone, day after day, but no elves appeared. There were never any such things. Peacock and the elves of the Misty Valley were just fairy tales that some lonely child made up, I'm sure. Rosine! That's not true. Peacock, you... <sighs> Long ago, elves really did live here. I don't know why everybody's gone, but I'm sure my kind did live here. I can tell. I can feel it. Your kind? He's an elf. See? A real one. Real one. So, he is... They were here. The elves. We're here. The elves. You found one for real, Jill. Lucky. Uh, now you'll be alright. Even with the bad stuff. All right. Rosine! <sighs> Mr. Swordsman! God! <laughs> Enough! Rosine can't even move! Don't hurt her anymore! Ah! Wait! Please, just leave her be! Why? Why do you hate her so much? Why? Ah! Jill! Ah! Oh, you'll pay for that guts! And he can only get ye! Stop it, you fool! About that, I hit him. I took down the black swordsman. Th that? Mr. Zephyr. I done it. I done it. I took down the black swordsman. Me. <sighs> Oh no! Attack! Rescue the children! After him! Grab him! After him! Grab him! Wait for me! I I'll go too! Mr. Zippet, we must pursue the Black Swordsman, but you must stay here. And watch over the children. No, but... but I... The Black Swordsman... I, I mean... You must not push yourself. Firing that arrow to save your daughter was admirable, but I could never dream of involving an outsider such as you in this danger any further. You just leave him to us and take your time basking in the joy of being reunited with your child. Um, hey... Mm. 
So then. Uh, uh, Why I order? God damn it, that son of a bitch! No, he didn't come all the way out to the Misty Valley just for this. I, I, one more time. <laughs> Some father. Huh? Rosine, S stop. That's enough. Jill, what's that thing? Ain't that an elf? Have to go home. <gasps> <laughs> Move, stupid! Oh, and ow! Ow! Rosine! <sighs> I have to go. Must go home now. The sun's gone down. And the moon's already so high. If I don't hurry home, Mum and Dad will be worried. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Wonder what's for dinner tonight. On top of a small hill between the village, where he no longer knew a single person, and the elf forest, where no human was allowed to live, Peekoff the outcast cried and cried, his red eyes swollen even redder. Rosine's flown off for home. Almost like Peacock running back to his house. A road she will never reach the end of. Ah, Thomas, you got me good. To get my hopes all up. They planned this from the start. Don't get me going on stuff that won't happen. Sons of bitches. Mm. Come on. I'm going home, Jill. Come on! Quit standing there. Let's go! I can't go. Huh? Say what? I can't go home yet. You fool! What the hell does that mean? Don't you talk back to me! Uh, what? You go back to the village, Dad. Ah, hey! Jill! Where the hell do you think you're going with that elf, you stupid girl? Puck, find out where the swordsman is. All right, but he's dangerous. You saw him before, right? Besides, why? After everything he's put you through. I just can't. What? I just can't. I can't leave things this way. Find him. Leave no stone unturned. Capture the black swordsman. Commander, it's hopeless in this fog. And it's only a matter of time before that fire makes its way here. Silence! After years, we've finally gotten this close. I'm not about to let him just escape. Mr. Swordsman? Uh... You going away? Uh... Are you an idiot? Why are you still following me after all that crap? It's like I told you, huh? You're lucky to still be alive. You almost died plenty. Your old friend was killed and you're soaked in bloody sludge. Keep hanging round, I promise you'll see more of the same. I get lost. Go away. But that time I nearly burned to death. You saved me, didn't you? Oh, so he still noticed Jill. Uh, take me with you, Jill. I won't slow you down, so take me somewhere far away. Somewhere that, somewhere that isn't here. I don't care where, as long as it's not here. I don't care. Look. Huh? Take a good look around us. Huh? A good hard look. 
at the shadows, at the darkness around me. You said somewhere that's not here. This is that somewhere. The verge of our world. This place is adrift, where the dead cling to the living, drowning in jealousy and yearning. A garbage heap of losers. You said you don't care where. Well, what you see is what you get. This is your paradise. There's no paradise for you to escape to. What you'll find, what's there, is just a battlefield. Mr. Swordsman? Go home. No! I don't have... I don't have a place I want to go home to. Go home. This is my battlefield. Only bad things happen there. Nobody's kind to me. Go. Go back. Back to your battlefield. Mr. Swordsman! He disappeared into the darkness. In the end, I still didn't know who he was. Just like when he appeared, he took the demons with him. I was the only one left behind. I still don't really know what these past days of fear, sadness and shock were to me. The mist cleared away. Wow! The mist that would never go away was pushed out by the flames. The clear sky now peeks through. But it's by no means a spectacle that makes my heart leap. Like when I flew in the sky with Rosine. It's savage. Lonely. Cold. But such a vivid sky. It's a clear sky. Like the kind after a storm blows through. I don't have wings, so... I guess I'll look up at this sky. And crawl along the earth. Maybe the fluid from that cocoon he doused me with. Mixed with Rosine's blood. Washed away my childhood. Guess this is it, Jill. You're going? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Jill? Will you be okay? Alone? Yeah. I... I guess I don't think I can be violent like the swordsman after all. And I guess I really don't have the courage to run away like Rosine did. But... But at least... I think I'll try crying and shouting and biting my way through. Maybe I can change something. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Farewell gifts. Sting your dad with this as much as you like. Thanks. Hey, Puck, why do you go with him? Mm. But I just can't leave him be, that idiot. Elves really do look best in the blue sky. In a tiny village nestled in a ravine, difficult to see even from the air. I think I'm about to start my own tiny battle. Footprints on his path. It 
seems he still has not been forsaken by evil fortune. But for a person following this path, it leads through an overly cruel night. Can a man continue to walk this path? Or else... Demons by choice. Those poor children, poor them. For your one and only desire. Is it right to kill dozens of them? Children. Hundreds of them. It's right to kill so that you should survive. It's right to kill. You stink of darkness. You do. The stink of darkness very close to us. It lives inside you, the beast. Black, black. The beast of darkness. It thirsts while it's there. More and more it thirsts. The more blood in which it bathes, the more it does thirst. The beast has an insatiable appetite. As you kill, it thirsts. As it thirsts, you kill. The blood must flow. So keep killing. It will still thirst forever. All alone. Always. Always alone. Always. Always. Then the beast will consume you. It will take your place. You will come to feel nothing but hatred. You will become a monster in the form of a man. No, perhaps you can become a real monster. Maybe you can, maybe, maybe, like your friend, like him. Ha! <laughs> You're goddamn kidding me. In a place like this, by these weaklings, Sacrifice. 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 But when will I reach him? How many more dead will I have to push aside? How many more apostles will I have to cut down? How long will I have to creep in darkness? Until him. wounds, but he had wandered off and died. Jeez. Hmm. Hmm. Idiot sighting! Alrighty, time for the full lecture. Look here, you. Just have a seat right there. Egads! Ah! Hey! What the 
are you doing? Wake up or you're dead! Give up! Give up! One, two, jackass! Put some spirit into this! What's the big idea after all your preaching to jail? Uh. 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 You're awake. Why, you quit? Ah, <laughs> <Huh? laughs> uh, you know, I can't keep tense with you around. Taking it seriously just seems silly. Looks like they gave up too. Did you see my power? Yeah. It lives. The beast will become a monster. You will become a beast. Monster. <laughs> Screw that. Uh -huh. I'm me. There's nothing else. I am what I am. And I will make my way to him. Well, I'll go and treat your wounds once you wash the blood off in the river. Hey, it's all thanks to me. Thanks to me, you keep kicking. It's all me. <sighs> well, I suppose he does have some additional value. All right, you in, Puck. That can be your place. Do what you want. Hey, did you just say Puck? Huh? You did, you did. We've been together for so long, and that's the first time you called me by name. Whatever. 